Space entrepreneur Jane Pointer joins us now. Um, she set up her own space company used by American commercial spacecraft. Hello, G. Thanks for joining us on the program. So, how Good does this morning. Work? Good morning. How's this work? So we are taking people to space in a very gentle way, right? I think when most of us think about space flight, we think about rockets and training and spacesuit, the right stuff. So we want to find a way to take people to space that's incredibly gentle so that we all feel that we can go to space. And so we're using a huge space balloon that is the size of a football field, taking a very comfortable pressurized capsule to space. And of course, you can have your beverage of choice on board. We have a bar and a loo, of course, and Wi-Fi. Every self-respecting spaceship has a bar, I believe. Um, how much will it cost? So ours costs $125,000 a piece. And there are, of course, other ways to get to space, which are vastly more expensive. So we're pretty excited that we are going to space, but we are able to really bring the cost down significantly already. And we're pretty excited about the, the uptake that we've had. The demand is huge. We put tickets on sale earlier this year in February. We've already sold over 450 tickets. So people really want to go to space. Um, how long can they stay there? So our flight is six hours long. It takes you roughly two hours to get to space. You're going there at a blazing 12 miles an hour. Then you're going to be up at Apogee at the top for two hours so that you can look out the windows, 360 degree panoramic view to have that incredible view of Earth in space that astronauts talk about. Like it really moves them when they see that view. And then two hours down again. Um, what are the risks? So this is truly the safe way to go to space. The space balloon that we are flying our pressurized capsule with has been used by NASA and others thousands of times. And so, of course, it, that has really tested the technology and put it through its paces. And then between the capsule and the balloon, there is, of course, a parachute. And it's a pre-deployed parachute. And this kind of system has been used also thousands of times and has never failed in all of that time. So it's, it's an incredibly safe way to go to space. Um, who are your customers, clients? What do you call them, passengers? We call them explorers, actually, because we want, really want to think that people are, are discovering a new perspective, a, a new way of seeing our, our planet. Uh, at the moment, our customers, about 80% of them are from the US because, frankly, that's largely where our press has been. So we're super happy to talk to you today because we want to invite everybody from the UK and around the world to come and join us on this great mission. Uh, and I would say that a lot of them are men, but I, we are also seeing a lot of women coming on board because it's so accessible, which is super. And what's really fun is that we're seeing people buying up full capsules, so that they, which is eight people and a pilot, and that way they can take their entire family, they can get a group of friends together to go. So it's really becoming a social event in space, which is really awesome to see. How eco-friendly is it? Yeah, that's a great question. So this is essentially a, a near zero emissions space flight. Uh, and as a company, we're also carbon neutral. Uh, which is amazing. Um, how far, I mean, you said 125,000 pounds. That's, that's unaffordable for a vast majority of people. How quickly before that price starts to come down? Yeah, so I, to be fair, we have such huge demand. It is quite likely that the price will go up a little bit before it comes down. We do certainly have a long-term vision of getting the price down. But you know what's exciting for us, because this is so accessible, we're able to involve such a broad swath of people who otherwise really just couldn't consider going to space. I'm also excited that we're involving scientists, artists of all kinds, poets, painters, sculptors, uh, writers, you know, I think it's incredibly important that we do make this extraordinary experience available to people who can experience it in different ways and then communicate it in different ways. You know, when you talk to astronauts about their experience of seeing Earth in space, it's not just a pretty view that they're looking at. For them, it is deeply emotional and moving and they have this incredible connection with our planet and what they think of as the singular human family on Spaceship Earth. 
And, and that's a very important and moving experience for them. And we want a lot of people to be able to experience it and communicate it in a variety of different ways. And when's the first flight, Jane? Yeah, so we're going up at our first commercial flight around the end of 2024, and our first human test flight will be in 2023. So it's soon. Yeah, exciting stuff. Keep in touch. Thank you very much. Thank you.